everyone. It is so good to be able to be with you. Trust me, I wish that we were able to see each other face to face and be able to eat some nachos and play some games with each other and break up into our uh, interest-based small groups. But until that day comes, I am so thankful that we are able to communicate and connect in this way. Um, I want to encourage you to stay connected with us through social media and different things. Let us know what's going on in your life. And uh, we'll just continue to weather these days as they come. So tonight we are on part two of our small group night series called arithmetic. Now arithmetic is a fancy word uh, that really means math. Now math uh, can bring all kinds of different thoughts to our minds. For instance, when I hear the word math, instantaneously my mind goes to two plus two equals four. Uh, for some of you, you might be uh, thinking more subtraction like two minus one equals one. Some of you fancier people that you've gone to higher, better, different places in math, you might be thinking equations like the quadratic or quadriatic, quad, however that said, the quadratic equation. And we got all these different things that come, come to us in regards to math, but what we really need to understand is that math builds upon itself. Now, when it comes to our faith, and our knowledge of God, a similar thing should happen. There is foundational things that we need to understand. Many people just stop right there. They don't continue to pursue God. They think, okay, I have faith. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. God is good. Devil is bad. I'm fine. And the truth is that really what we've done is we've just started this whole idea of faith. We've just started this idea of living our life for God. But there's so many more things that need to be added to that. We shouldn't just operate with faith alone. There's other qualities we need to add to our life. James, the brother of Jesus, says this. He says, a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. So we're considered righteous not just because we believe who Jesus is, but it's, but it's our belief that causes us to act. It's part of that action. So what are some of the things that we need to add to our faith to be better followers of God? Well, one of those things is goodness. Goodness. So tonight we're going to take a few moments and talk a little bit about goodness. Now, Google has all kinds of ideas of how you and I can take steps to being a, a good person. And they kind of start out with something interesting. It says to compliment yourself. So in an effort to be a good person to other people, we, I guess, also need to be good to ourselves. So that means looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, yeah, you look pretty awesome today. So um, I guess we start out with that. Uh, then it says to let go of anger. Um, it says to practice forgiveness, which I think is cool. Forgiveness is not easy. That's why we need to practice at those things. So it says practice forgiveness. You're not going to get it right every time. That's why it's practice. Uh, it says to be helpful. Uh, while you're at home uh, over these next few weeks, uh, find yourself being helpful to those that you are staying with or living with. Um, listening to others is a way to be a good person. Being polite. And then one of the last things Google mentioned is to surprise people. So they got all these ideas of how, how you can take steps towards being a good person. But as a follower of Jesus, we also need to turn our attention to what the Bible says. We can't just look up what Google says and then and then be, be just good with that. We need to understand what God would want to say to us as well. So in Philippians chapter two, it says this, if you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life. So what is that saying to you and me? It means if you've gotten anything out of coming here on a Wednesday night, if you've gotten anything about out of being in a small group or being at merge night or one of our other nights, if you've gotten anything out of playing dodgeball, eating nachos and pizza and getting giveaways, if you've gotten anything out of that type of stuff, you need to then pay attention to these next words. It says, if being in a community of the Spirit means anything to you, if you have a heart, if you care, 
Then he gives us some different things to do. He says, agree with each other. Love each other. Be deep-spirited friends. So if we just stop right there, it says, look, don't, don't create this huge obstacle for yourself of, of how to be good with all of these people that you don't know. Start being good with the people that you do know. Find a way to agree with one another. Find a way to agree on what you're going to have for dinner or what movie you are going to watch after you've just watched three already today. Find a way to agree with the people that you know. Find a way to love the people that are in the same room you are tonight. So start there. And then he goes on. He says, don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage, but forget about yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. So in the midst of all of the interesting things that you and I are dealing with in the world today, we're encouraged to take steps towards agreeing with people that we already know, but then also being able to put our own feelings and our own thoughts and our own needs aside so that others that we don't know can be blessed and be able to succeed. I got a final story I want to share with you. Years and years and years ago, I was just, just a wee little guy. I had hair back then and it was blonde, imagine that. So my dad uh, comes home from work and he has a package of Starburst for me. Um, I love Starburst. Starburst are my absolute favorite candy. Um, I don't eat them as often now, but they are still number one candy as far as far as I go. So my dad brings home a package of Star Wars for me, my very own package, and I open it up and, you know, always praying that there's a cherry one on top because cherry is my, my uh, favorite flavor. And so I open it up and have one, and then a few moments pass, and my dad tells me this because I was way too young to be able to remember it, but my dad says that he looks out and he sees that I'm handing out all of my Starburst to the friends in my neighborhood. And my dad starts thinking like, man, that, that's crazy. Why is he doing that? And, you know, my dad asked me, he's like, so why were you handing out, you know, all that candy to your friends? And the bottom line is this, it was a good thing for me to do. It was a good thing for me to do. Now, yes, the gift uh, was given to me and no one would have thought anything was wrong if I were to have kept all the Starbursts for myself. That's okay. It was a gift. It's something that I can do. But I decided to use what I had to be able to be a blessing to other people. Now, just a few days ago, I had the privilege of going on Amazon and being able to shop for some food for a family that uh, I knew was in need. And I'll tell you, that filled my heart so much being able to take what I have and be able to be a blessing to other people. Now, sure, that was just a little thing, but do you know what it was? It was good. It was good. What if you and I decided to do more things that were good? What if we decided to take a little step and a little step and a little step where every single day we are growing in the goodness that we can offer other people. What if Jesus were to, to decide to use you and me to show goodness to the world that is around us? May you and I daily take steps at growing in this little thing of being good. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much for the opportunity that we have today to uh, talk about being good and the goodness that we should offer other people. Lord, we are all at different levels here, just like we have all different understandings of math. Some of us don't even know how to use equations, and that is perfectly fine because we have to start right where we are at. So Lord, I pray that you would help us to see the simple things, the little things of being good to the people that we know. And Lord, grow us into steps of being good to people that we don't know. In your glorious name, amen.